Hi everyone, my name is Kimmy Karim for those of you who do not know and welcome back to our second vlog video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about visual analysis and my breakdown of Blue Monday by Annie Lee, the 1985 painting that I'm pretty sure you've seen inside your mom's house at some point. Let's get started. Now to begin with the topic in question, what is visual analysis? In a brief, short summary, visual analysis is basically having the ability to break down and understand art and the visual world around us through explaining it by its elements like color, line, shape, texture, so on and so forth. Um, so an example of that would be you casually walking into a museum and seeing a art piece that catches your eye. And instead of just saying you like it, you would go into further detail about what are the things that stand out to you. What parts of the painting or image are more dominant? Which colors stand out the most? Um, does, the th does the image or picture have texture? Things like that are ways that you visually analyze the world around you. For our assignment, I decided to visually analyze Blue Monday, the 1985 painting done by Annie Lee. She was an African-American painter. She had been painting her whole life, but her career did not pop off until she was in her 40s or 50s, which I was most intrigued by because Typically, creatives, sometimes we find ourselves in a rut and we just feel like if we didn't pop off in our early 20s, then it's no use. But it was very admirable that this woman continued to push herself within her medium and she found great success before passing. Blue Monday is a painting that depicts an African-American woman sitting at the edge of her bed getting ready for work on a Monday morning. One of the really cool things about this painting is that it was inspired by Annie Lee's work at the train station. She had been working there for a, a decade or two, and in a way, this art imitated her life. Some of the most dominant parts of this painting are the variation in blue colors and tones and hues. Blue is spread out throughout the entire image, along the walls, along the bed set, on the floor, in the woman's slippers, and very light baby blues within the woman's dress. I feel like this part of the painting definitely speaks to that depressive, exhausted kind of state that the figure was likely in based on their um, body language and body structure. Another really cool thing that I've noticed about the Blue Monday painting is that the woman doesn't have any facial features. This was a common theme in a lot of Annie Lee's work, and I feel like for this reason, her work was very relatable to a lot of people within the African American community. If you don't put a face to something, it can pretty much be anyone. And I think that's one of the messages that Annie Lee wanted to carry out with her work. Um, and it's very apparent throughout her um, collections of artwork. Another thing that I really admire about Annie Lee's work is her attention to detail. In Blue Monday, the woman is wearing a nightgown and is slightly slipping off of her shoulder and she also has on blue slippers, one of them on her foot and one of them off her foot. And if you're anything like me or really anyone else that gets up on a Monday morning, that is just a clear um, representation of what it feels like to have to force yourself to get out of bed. And I think including those details definitely help to carry out that overall message. I feel like it made the painting more relatable. I feel like Annie Lee had a way of depicting the everyday life of African Americans, not only our struggles, but our own humility and our unity and strength. Um, and that is one of the things that I appreciate most about Amy Lee, the artist. Um, and the other really too is her dedication to just continuing to push 
forward on her career as an artist despite her age like that is something that is not common and she was definitely worth highlighting i hope that you all learned a lot today about any both any lee and visual analysis and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you